Hi Aquarius, I'm just going to let you sample the theta wave that I'm listening to for your reading tonight. It's a uh, 4 to 7 hertz theta wave. I don't know if you can hear that, but all right, let's get a number for you. Wow. <clears throat> Temperance. I feel like your person uh, may want to get things back to where they were. Um, you might have had a certain moment where things were just perfect, you know. Um, maybe you only got that for a short period of time. I think your person wants that back. Uh, from here, I'm looking at three threes, so that's a hermit's number. I wonder, is spirit looking over this union? Because that's the number nine. Um, and over here, ah, I see three fours, so we have uh, the hanged man. I feel like there's something you're trying to figure out. And we have five on this side and two on that side. So there's been some difficulty. I'm sure we're going to find out what that is. All right. All right. <clears throat> Can we have an accurate reading? For the collective Aquarius, we're looking at the present feelings of your special person, please. Um, I'm seeing that there has been some distance um, between your person and you. Someone has, you know, sort of moved away from the other, um, and someone is very... They're sort of guarded in an anticipatory way, like they're anticipating something. I'm going to find out what that is. All right, here we go. <clears throat> January 21, January 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 18. There we go, bottom of the deck. <clears throat> we have the nine of bows. <clears throat> so, uh, I feel like this is your person. They're anticipating something. Um, we don't know what it is, but we are going to find out. It's the same feeling I had. Uh, just a moment ago. <clears throat> All right, Spirit, please take us uh, into the present moment now. Focus in on the feelings of Aqua's person <clears throat> and how they're feeling at the moment. This card is They're frightened of this union. <clears throat> There's something that they feel they need to apologize for. I believe they've gotten some very bad advice about this union. It frightened them somehow. And that's what caused this feeling over here, this feeling of anticipating trouble. And you know what's interesting is the card underneath it is the Six of Vessels, which is the reunion card. <clears throat> um, it is the Wildwoods version of uh, the Six of Cups. So we'll have to find out why. I, mean, I feel like they're excited about it, but afraid of it at the same time. 
there's also something they need to apologize for. I feel like it's taking bad advice um, from <clears throat> somebody um, who was giving, literally giving them instructions about you. All right. All right. Present moment feelings of oh, that fixed air is person, a special person. Yeah, there we go again. I feel like there is something that they are anticipating you're going to find out about. And I feel like it's something that they either did or a choice that they made. Um, and the reason why they made this choice or did this thing um, is, is, was a result of some, some bad instructions. Uh, and in fact, at the same time, uh, so this card, it's actually the Wildwoods version of the Ten of Swords. And it's called instruction, Ten of Arrows instruction. So somebody that they thought, you know, knew, you know, so they went to somebody who they thought it could have been a friend, maybe a family member of theirs, maybe of yours. I don't think so though. <clears throat> Has given them bad advice in the past about you and advice on how to handle this. Stupid thing I feel that they've done or choice that they've made that they know you're about to find out about. And, you know, they've, they've given your person some instructions on how to handle the situation. Show me more. Yeah. So this is about something that happened in the past. They can't change it. Um, it's related to the wheel, which is the wheel of fortune. Uh, whatever unfortunate, I feel like this is an unfortunate thing that they did that you're going to find out about. <clears throat> There's nothing they can do about it. It's the time. It, the clock just turns, right? They, they know you're going to find out about it. Yeah, and they're stressing to the max. This is the uh, <clears throat> Wildwoods version of the Nine of Swords. So that's where, and this, you know, at the same time, this person was very dedicated to you, or you're dedicated to them. They're stressing. They're stressing. There's nothing they can do about this. It's just a matter of time. Before you find out about this, show me more. Show me more. <laughs> I could be dealing with a Capricorn here, <clears throat> or a Gemini. I did see Libra energy as well, Pisces, Sagittarius. It's just like they're waiting. You know, there's the Queen of Pentacles waiting, waiting. Like, when is this going to happen? <laughs> when is this going down? Show me more. Yeah, they're waiting. They know there's nothing they can can do about you about the clock ticking right stress the fact that they're they're waiting and they're stressing show me more all right so here's the, the decision that they I feel they made in the past they may have made it <clears throat> you could be dealing with an Aries or a, a Leo or um Sagittarius here, <laughs> he doesn't look very happy, he looks angry. They may have made it when they were in a state of anger um, to a Bo's decision. Um, oh, something underneath this what really wants to come out. Yeah, and this person again was related to this stupid decision. I feel like it had to do with another person. Um, there's the Six of Stones. That energy is related to the Six of Pentacles where things are not fair. And someone was in fact exploited. <clears throat> and they are just stressing about it because they know that at the same time you were always dedicated to them. Show me more, please. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much. Show me more. This really wants to come out here. Yeah. So they are, are stressing a great deal. I think Spirit really wants me to tell that they are dedicated to you. At the same time, you know, they felt like they should have been protecting you. Yeah. Look at this feel like they know that you're about to take a shot through the heart, or maybe you did. This is some huge amount of betrayal here. They may have done something out of jealousy. <clears throat> Show me more. Thank you so much. Yeah. So I feel like, it, so what we've got here is three of swords, seven of swords. In a regular deck, <laughs> I hate using the word regular because I usually mean, I should say traditional deck. 
this would be the ultimate in betrayal. It's the Three of Swords and the Seven of Swords, which very often is a direct lie that was held, you know, for a prolonged period of time. Some a great deal of planning might have been used, some stealth in holding out this lie. You know. But here's the interesting thing about this deck. Um, in this deck, the Seven of Swords, that lie, they call it <clears throat> insecurity. So they told this lie, it was due to their own insecurity. Show me more. Yeah. Could have been a Sagittarius. You know, and now here's the whole, that number 14 that came up, temperance in the, now they don't know what to do because they cannot get things back. They can't get things balanced. They're wondering, how do I do this? You know? How do I get things back to the way they were? Can I ever? Yeah, so we've got that, so we've got um, some Gemini energy coming in here along with Sag. I feel like this person, whatever decision they made, it was made with King of Arrows energy, which means that almost no emotion, almost no emotion was put into this decision, whatever they did. Yeah, and there's the number 12. There's the uh, waiting you, and it is you waiting, and you just know like you you are all ready for this um whatever bomb it is they're about to drop you know it could mean that they may feel like you're gonna sail them off to that island of dead bodies you know because of this but you already know about this see? your intuition was telling yeah and, and they're getting ready to apologize they're literally getting ready now hey there's that glimmery uh leaves there i think what's happening here um, this animal, I think your person is learning from this um, how to apply some emotion because this animal, uh, you know, the thing about this page of vessels, otter, um, is that it, uh, it's, it goes from land to water. So here it's getting ready to go back in the water. So maybe your person is adapting to emotions a little bit better. Show me more, please. I'm going to do that one more time. Show me more, please. Yeah. So whatever happened here, whatever truth you're going to find out about, um, you know, it, it involved a little bit, maybe a great deal, I'm not sure, of deception because we have the moon here. So we have some Pisces energy coming in along with all... Um, air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. You know, in this deck, they call the Ace of Arrows the breath of life. So, you know, this is something that literally they know could take your breath away, or maybe it's taking theirs away, just thinking about it, thinking about you. Yeah, because, see, they took a shot at you, and I feel it's because they just, you know, they were intimidated, they, you know, they weren't using their emotions or intuition, and they just wanted to win. It's that's Netza, that's uh, Sephira number seven on the Tree of Life, that victory, you know, energy must win. It's a powerful energy. You probably could be dealing with a cancer there, but, um, you know, it's, it, there's a lot of power behind that. This person, you know, they just, they probably felt overpowered by you, you know, and here you are. I feel like you're here. In this card, um, this is, you know, the Wildwoods version of the Empress. You know, here you were just nurturing them, everything, helping them grow, maybe helping their business grow, you know, while they were taking a shot at you, you know? That's how they responded to your help. Show me more, please. Yeah. Um, I think we're ready to move on to the next part of the reading. But this, again, um, you know... Here's how they should have acted. Here's how they ought to have behaved the way that you did. And here's what they did the way, you know, they chose to follow the instruction you know, of uh, possibly Gemini. <laughs> anyway, they chose to follow the instruction of someone instead of using their own intuition. You know, it will be to their detriment. Now, <clears throat> We're going to ask why they're feeling this way, and then we're going into a future. 
All right, so we're going to get a little bit more information as to why they're feeling like this. First of all, I'm going to ask, why did they take the instructions up from this person? Why did they not rely on their own intuition? <clears throat> Perhaps they weren't clear on something. What were they not clear on? What were they not clear about? Oh, I think that um, this is interesting. Either they walked away or you walked away. They don't even know. Either you don't know why they walked away or they don't know why you did. Um, we're going to ask why the walk away. Why did they walk away? I'm going to assume that they did. Why did they walk away? It's related somehow to your Empress energy. Um, why is Empress energy causing a walk away here? I think I know what this is. Aquarius. <clears throat> I think you were waking something up inside of them. This is the heart chakra, I believe. It could be the solar plexus chakra. I'm not sure. But, the, you know, there's a part of them, either you were making them feel or making them feel empowered. And I feel like, I mean, this person looks quite blown away there by these feelings. I think that it, it, it just, there's a card that wants to come out here. Yeah. I mean, compare this you know, with the way that you made them feel empowered, their friend made them feel insecure, you know, like they needed instruction. Um, now, there's another card behind you here, Aqua. What's this? Yeah, there's the walk away. There's the, the power of your nurturing energy. Um, uh, tell us more. This is interesting. Tell us more. Why? Again, just look at this. So I feel like... Um, you know, even though spirit was there guiding them along in the lantern, even though um, they listen, there's the, the wren, and the wren sometimes comes out um, as the one who passes on a little piece of gossip. So um, what did the wren say? <laughs> what did the wren say? <laughs> What's up with this wren? Oh, all right. Just look at this. Ugh. So, I don't, I mean, <laughs> I feel like, you know, there's a lynx, right? Could have been dealing with a Capricorn, but I feel like some kind of a message. This, this, this is a, a page. It's a message. Came in. Sorry, and we're going to try that again. What was this lynx related to? What was this message to? What was this message related Okay, that's what caused the confusion and the deception. Show me more. Interesting. Um, a Leo or Pisces could have been involved. Something, um, I feel like, I mean, this energy is all about someone being very popular, something being publicly known. Ah, oh, there's that. There's that bloody gossipy person again. Um, and there's deceptive energy. I feel like, I'm not even sure if you know about this. I'm just going to ask if you know about this. Um, there's King of Bows energy um, and uh, Six of Bows energy. A lot of fire energy there, but it's cheating energy. So this, you know, this energy may have been related to somebody being physically active, you know, with somebody else. Yeah. So there was a real snake around them. How does Aquarius feel about this reason for the walk away? How's Aquarius feeling about the reason? What does Aquarius intuitively feel cause the walk away? Yeah, well, you certainly feel that um, things got imbalanced because of a lie or someone feeling insecure. Um, what's under this? Oh, yeah, it probably caused a tower moment. Look at that. In this deck, it's called the Blasted Oak. Um, Scorpio or Aries could have been involved. So something, um, you know, caused a tower moment. It was a lie, though. It wasn't true. That's the sad thing about it. Uh, and, you know, it threw them off balance because they were insecure. I believe that you have, you have it wrapped. You know exactly what happened there. 
Now, shall we go into our future? Stand by. Aquarius, in this deck, um, as you know, I never go beyond the High Priestess when we're doing a future reading. Um, but in this deck, the equivalent of the High Priestess card is a card called the Seer. We have not seen it yet, no pun intended. But um, as you know, that will be where we will stop, okay, if she comes up. All right, here we go. So can we have an accurate version? We're just going to ask Spirit to take us from the present moment right into the future as far as we're allowed to go or until we sort of get to a what I call a dead end. Yeah, so, all right. So at this point, things may sort of be at a standstill. I think because of the error that your person made or this decision, um, somebody else may have gotten involved with your person. I think that this is, oops, sorry, that's their energy there, the stag. And, you know, here's the Five of Swords version, you know, frustration. So everyone may be very frustrated. There's your person <laughs> taking shot at you. All right, show us more. Bring us into the future now, please, spirit. Yeah. So there was the, you know, may have been a double whammy because, you know, the person obviously followed their friend's advice or whoever they got advice from about you. Uh, and now, now they want a second shot. What's going to happen now, see the page of bows there. What they're looking for at this point, now they're still in this energy, you know, of, um, I feel like they're in a manipulative energy, um, but it, 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 to make matters worse, they're, they're wanting to know if they can have a second shot, yeah, at the Queen of Cups. I mean, look at you. Um, I feel like this is your energy here. You would have done anything for them, you know, swim up this waterfall, even though, you know, this is a fish, the power of that fish to wind its way up. What is this? Yeah. And, you know, I feel like, um, this, the, you know, if they really put you through quite a struggle, you know, they may be struggling to get out of a connection with a karmic right now because of what they did. Yeah. And they're, they're looking to come back and get some more of that energy, the way that they used to feel with you. They, they want this, to feel this again because they're struggling. Comparing the way they felt with you to the way they feel with that karmic energy. What is this? Yeah, because the karmic just does this stuff, right? Makes, you know, for quite a struggle. All right, so then what happens, please, Spirit? Then what happens? Yeah, yeah, they continue to come at you with this energy. Show me more. I feel like you're just persevering, sticking to your guns, you know. Um, at this point, you figured out how to survive. <laughs> um, they may realize, you know, that to, at this point, they have to come in with something emotional because the, the otter there brings in an emotional message. <clears throat> the problem is they've got a lot to apologize for. Show me more. And you may still be struggling. You know, they, they may have their heads above water, but the state that they left you in after this trickery, you know, show me where they're still coming. They're still coming in. <laughs> yeah, geez, just look at this. I mean, they're coming at you full force. They, they just really, there's a lot of passion to come in here uh, along with the, you know, a deceptive energy. Boy, oh boy, aqua. <clears throat> Gemini and Pisces energy there. You know, I feel like uh, they may be making physical advances toward you, very um, passionate, or in and out. I hate using boiler, boilerplate language, boilerplate tarot card language, like uh, in and out, but <clears throat> the um, here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> um, and, you know, you just don't, it's confusing you. You don't know where they're coming from. Show me more. This is not going to work. Neither is that. They just want to win, you see. They want to get back to their version of balance is to come and go as they please. Ha! Here we go. Now then. I feel like at this point, 
they are listening to spirit. Um, right now, I feel more like <clears throat> they are the wren, <laughs> and they're actually looking up and listening to spirit, or they could be talking uh, to someone um, who you know that, that actually knows you, and they're gonna. They're, this person is someone you know that cares about you, or it's spirit, and and they do want this person to win. I feel like they have one last chance, and that's it. I feel like spirit is really cutting them some slack here. Holy moly. Yeah, because of all the deception. So, you know, they're getting instruction. You can't come in like that. You have to, you cannot be, you know, you can't use that deceptive energy because Aquarius will just walk away. You know, look at how the sun that you're walking into and you're about to jump, you know, over that giant, you know, um, uh, look, and there's a rainbow actually lighting your way there. That is the version of the fool in this deck. Isn't that beautiful? <clears throat> so, um, yeah, no, they, they're going to have to figure out another way. Or you're just not interested in that deceptive energy. It's no, of no interest to you. What's of interest to you is striking this beautiful balance, you know. Show me more. This is looking good, by the way. Yeah, they're going to have a struggle uh, getting to that balance. You're not going to be struggling because I feel like at this point... You're already moving forward. I'm not even sure you see them coming. Show me more. Yeah. See, what's going to happen, I think, is they're going to slip up. Um, at this point, they, they just slip up at least once here, going back to these people, you know, who are, are telling them to compete and to look good and to, you know, yeah. And they, they slip up like this because of insecurity. Show me more. I don't think you've noticed them yet. So, uh, you know, perhaps they figured out that it was their insecurity, you know, that disrupted the whole balance. They may have figured out, yeah, that it's all inside them and the need to win. You know, that did not, um, that did not, uh, that, that disrupted the balance of this. Perhaps the fact that they didn't follow their intuition the way that you do, they realized that it, had they added that, even if they had up those other energies, it would have worked. Perhaps if they hadn't gotten involved with the karmic, you know, there's <laughs> this the, the queen of bows. <laughs> that's, that's my card, <laughs> the karmic energy in this deck. Oh, yes. And, of course, it was very unjust for them to have gotten involved with this karmic, you know. It's all sorts of, every mistake in the book they made. Now, what I do see here, though, is the, the woodward here is representing the Justice card. So we now have two major arcana. We've got the Justice card, and we have the uh, Temperance. Um, it screams balance, that they are going to balance something out. I feel like they're going to balance out um, the unfairness that they caused. They do look very focused here, you know. They're, and at this, at this point, it's not the lynx coming after you, it's your person, right, with the lynx. So I feel like they've found who they are. They're very determined, and they look way more confident. A little dramatic, but <laughs> show me more. What are they going to do? What's in the future here? Oh, wow. First, they're going to apologize. Good. So that will help with the balance. Show me more. I feel like they're, re they're looking for you first. They may not be able to find you to apologize. But if they have trouble finding you, they'll just go to, to spirit. I feel like spirit will guide the way to them apologizing. Sorry, Aqua. Try that again. Show me more, please. Boy, that just doesn't want to... Okay, one more time. Okay, and then what's next in the future? Wow. Um, there is perhaps um, a truth that they do have to bring to you. And I think it is about the, whatever, why they made this decision that they made with no emotion. I think that this is going to take an awful lot of courage. Yeah, but they are going to, to give you that truth. Um, <clears throat> You know, this person may be really cons overly concerned about what other people think. This hawk, you know, can turn its head all the way around. Um, it's like it rotates at the 360 
Um, and it's so they can see everything around them. It's very similar to the way the King of Swords will sit at the top of a mountain. So, you know, nobody sees what he's doing. He can see everybody. They're, this person is very worried about what other people think, including this person that gave them the bad advice in the first place. A lot of Gemini energy coming in here. Can you show me more? Yeah. And I mean, I think that what's happening to make matters worse, um, I think that the... Uh, whoever they took the bad advice from, you know, maybe telling them um, there's something about dedication there. They may be worried that of looking dedicated to you. There's the wheel there. Yeah, that their friend pulling them back into that wheel energy because they're worried about what other people think. But you are dedicated to them, so why should they be, you know? You know, um, so here we have them moving toward you with the dedication energy, which is great. They're going to have to move toward you because you won't be in the vicinity at this point. <laughs> yeah. So they're, this time, they're moving toward you. And this time, they have regained that spark of life that you showed them, you know, the energy that you showed them. Um, they literally may have to travel to see you at this point because you may have, at, like the wanderer takes a journey. Yeah. I think we're nearing the end of the reading. We'll get one more split. I do believe that what was missing was that they did not have that spark of life inside them. And I think there must have been something that you did or showed them, even if you think that the relationship was a disaster or the situation, whatever it was, there's something that you did that ignited this, you know, and that's what they're, they're using to come to you successfully in the end. Wow. What we have here is victory in obtaining this balance. Uh, it's absolutely incredible. Um, now, I don't know how you're going to react to this, um, but that doesn't matter because I'll tell you what, I'm always saying to um, uh, the divine feminines who, who often contact me and say that eh, it's another failed relationship. And I say, oh, is that right? And I usually ask them, you know, what happened? And, or I look at the cards and I can see that, you know, all they did was give love. But they always made some remarkable change in the other person. Um, you know, usually it, it ended up in a, in a flop because the other person fooled up at the end. And, uh, you know, Divine Feminine had no choice but to take off. But little does she know that in all these so-called failed relationships of hers, she has done incredible work. On these people, you are good enough. Uh, I feel like this is both. Both these messages are for your person. Um, if you decided to give them another chance, they must remember this. But most importantly, what this person must do, um, you know, is follow this advice, which is not to get to let pride get in their way. You may be dealing uh, with a Leo there. Virgo energy there as well. Every astrological sign was involved in this reading. Aquarius, nicely done. Thank you so much.